The family of political activist and Islamic scholar Imam Abdullah Harun say it will reopen the inquest into his death in detention on the 27th of September 1969 in the Western Cape. His youngest daughter, Fatima Huran Masood, also briefed the media about the activities of the Imam Harun Foundation to commemorate the 50th anniversary of his death. Iman Harun was detained on the 28th of May 1969 and died in police custody in September of that year. No one was arrested for his death. Our reporter Vanessa Puna spoke to his daughter in Cape Town. of the late Imam Abdullah Harun has uh, just launched a uh, year in Cape Town at the District 6 Homecoming Centre a short while ago. Uh, their intention uh, to reopen the inquest into his death. Uh, we know that Imam uh, has spent 123 days in detention, of course, uh, killed by apartheid uh, year of security police. And joining me uh, to speak about uh, the, the next uh, few months uh, leading up uh, to, uh, to or as part of the 50th commemoration, uh, of his death is his youngest daughter, uh, Fatima Harun. Masood Fatima, a very warm good day to you. We've just heard from your family, and, and I'll go a bit into further detail, the other activists and, 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 and family members just now. Um, why the inquest, or why the reopening of the inquest into your father's uh, death? Okay, as uh, we have, in, as you've been informed, we never went to the TRC. Based on the fact that my mother was then much younger, and she always said, they want, you won't find any justice. They, in, in terms of her understanding, her layman's understanding of justice, she said, you won't find peace if there's no justice. So by going to the TRC, she doesn't believe there's going to be any justice. And today she's 93 years old. And through her guidance and her blessings, and as we, as her children, we took guidance from her because she was the one that had to face the... the the situation at the time of uh, having my father being arrested and also having to also be part of the whole procedure of his death and we were only young then I mean I was I just turned six years old so through her blessings and her understanding as our mother and she had to pick up all the broken pieces to raise us, rear us and care for us at the time. She then told us, you know, she doesn't think there's a need to go to the TRC because there won't be justice. And honest to God, to, there was no justice. That, that, that is the feeling, Fatima, we've, we've heard from various um, um, people on the panel just now. Uh, you've had the likes of uh, Lucanio Talata, who is the son of Fort Talata, one of the Craddock Four. We've also uh, uh, seen uh, the uh, son uh, of Nicodemus, Huate, um, speaking about his father's death. And of course, uh, th th this launch here really talking to the deaths in detention of seven uh, political activists, of which your father was one. And what we've heard uh, from, from quite a number of members of the panel uh, just now is that the TRC um, as you've said, has, has not brought the closure um, to many um, um, activist families. Uh, we've also heard that um, the post-apartheid, um, the, the democratic government, has not done enough to assist in coming to uh, the truth of how political activists like uh, uh, Imam uh, uh, was killed. That, that is the view of not just your family, but also the other activists here. Okay. Now, you know, the reason why we've decided to reopen now, my mother at the age of 93, she herself, as the wife of Imam Harun, wants to have closure. She said she wants to know what had happened. And for us, that was a blessing. And we drew the courage from the Samalini case. And we also drew, drew the courage from the Timur case to carry this forward, this matter forward, and to reopen the inquest. So in terms of us having to go and reopen the inquest, it's because of her blessings. And we find that in terms of our understanding as the children, we've been traumatized and challenged for all of our lives because we've never had closure on our father's matter and our father's case. And again, I want to tell your, list, your viewers that because of my uh, the Timol and the Simulani matter, we really were encouraged and inspired to take this forward. And I think if we stand together as a team, as a broader network, we will open the barriers and the boundaries for other people to come forward in this entire country because justice came about how? On the lives of others, on the lives and the deaths of others that had faith that they were prepared to give up their lives and sacrifice their lives so that we can live in a better South Africa. And I think today, because of going on in history, we have a right to inform the public and of future generations 
not the fake news or fake information, but to give them the ultimate truth so that history can be rewritten in terms of what had happened under the historical context. The Foundation has also, Fatima, uh, announced um, you know, quite a number of events that will be taking place um, in this 50th year commemoration. Um, at, at the start of your address here, you, you had some critical words um, towards what is happening in society at the moment, saying that your, this is not what your father would have died for. No. My, son, my father died for, to attain social justice. And he was a man of moral degree. Uh, he was a man of moral values and ethical values. He stood for a principle for all of mankind. He believed the freedom of expression, the freedom of movement, the freedom of, uh, of education. And he firmly believed the freedom to bring about a social just order. Thank you very much. Of course, uh, Fatima and Harun uh, Masood is speaking to us. She's, of course, the youngest daughter of uh, Imam uh, Abdullah Harun. And, of course, today the family made the announcement uh, that they will look towards reopening the inquest into his death in detention uh, during uh, the 1969, but not just himself, along with seven other political activists who were also killed in detention uh, during the apartheid era, era in 1969.